never an end road. Follow the road. It will lead you somewhere. So don't give up. Who is laughing at you? Your wasting time is not your wasting time. Tell them. Don't ever forget this issue. If you are not born again, you will suffer again. But if you are born again, get ready to win again. Anointing breaks the yoke. Anointing breaks the yoke. Anointing breaks the yoke. Come and be anointed to stop that evil carry over into the new year 2017 as you join Reverend Ben Eragbai, the Jesus Soldier, at Prayer City, Aja, date Friday 30th December 2016, time 7 a.m. prompt, venue, second floor gate street, behind Nipko filling station, beside Lagos Business School, Aja, come and stop that evil reoccurrence in your life, family, business, marriage or ministry, join us your season of divine restoration Jesus is Lord Matthew chapter 2 verse 1 to 2 now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod behold there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem saying where is he that is born king of the Jews for we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him the scripture we just read says now when jesus was born in bethlehem of judea in the days of herod i, I want to look at god visiting mankind through bethlehem and not through jerusalem now when, where is Jerusalem? Jerusalem is the city of kings. Is the city of kings. So, but God decided to avoid the city of kings and went to Bethlehem. Where is Bethlehem? An unknown place. Which you can call a village. So, God did that in order to make man understand that he can do and undo and do what he wants to do when he wants to do and how he wants to do and do it in order for man to know that he's still God. Now, Jerusalem we said is the city of the kings, but when God was ready to raise a king, not just a king, king of kings, he decided to bypass Jerusalem and he went into Judea. Why? To also surprise the enemy. To catch the enemy on our way. Please don't forget. The birth of Jesus was prophesied. Before Jesus arrived. For more than a thousand years back. It was prophesied that a king will be born. So Satan was ready. Praise God. What were they doing? Let him come so we kill. So when Jesus was not to be born. Everyone's eye. Even Satan's kingdom will be expecting that. Jesus will be born in the palace. And. God bypassed all and went to Bethlehem in Judea. And in Bethlehem in Judea, when Jesus was also born, you will realize that he was not born in the palace. In fact, the biggest places and the best places rejected him. The best places rejected him because we are told that there was no place in the inn. In the inn, for God's sake, ordinary inn, not even a five-star hotel. Ordinary in rejected the mother and the father. Now, if they had known that the king of glory was the one that the woman was carrying, I hope you know some people will leave their bedroom and say, come and use my bedroom. You know, I, I don't have much time to talk about this because sometimes when people that are rejecting you now, if they know who you will be in future, many of them will start celebrating. Am I preaching this morning? They will start celebrating you. I've seen so many great men who we are nobody. I've seen so many great women who we are nobody. Many of them are up there now. But by the time they tell you their story, you'll be surprised. By the time they tell you how they slept on beer floor. By the time they tell you how they slept in a house, probably without window. By the time they tell you where they are coming from. When you compare the story to the glory, it don't look alike. Are you sure you're hearing what I'm saying here? Sometimes in our lives, God allows us to pass through season of story. You are here listening to me. I don't know what avenue you are hearing me from. 
You may be passing through your own season of story. But I want you to understand that every true glory must have a past story. So today, your story will become a past tense. Ladies and gentlemen, Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea. And when he was born, even Herod was not aware. Even the king, the incumbent king was not aware. Everyone around that environment, they were not aware. Do you know why? Because they have expected him to be born long time. So everyone has given up. Some of you, you have given up on your dream. Don't give up because you will make it. Did you hear? I say, don't give up. Help me preach to three people by your side. Don't and give them his mind and say, don't, 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 don't give up. Uh, uh, don't, 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 don't even attempt to give up. Don't give up on it. Ladies and gentlemen, everyone probably may have given up. They gave up because and as soon as they talk, in the same way, people have given up on rapture now. People have given up on rapture. The church is no longer seeing rapture. The church is no longer on that great commission of evangelism. The church is no longer on great level of love for God. So everyone now serve God based on this is what I can do. The church no longer give because I love God. The church now give because if I give, God will give me back. So that love that propels people to give is gradually dying away. Why? Because people have waited so long. Praise God. If you check, rapture is part of the church. But how many still know that there will be rapture today? Oh, you don't tell where they talk. Him. The same thing happened here. Jesus was prophesied more than a thousand years before then that a king will be born. A king will be born. Everyone gave up. Everyone gave up. Nobody was expecting it. Because if the owner of the inn knew that it was Jesus that was being pregnant of, he would have not only surrendered the inn, he would have also surrendered his own bedroom. It would have been a history today. Are you sure you're hearing me now? But, ladies and gentlemen, this Jesus was born when he was to be born. The only place they gave him was a manger. His next door neighbor was animal being given birth to. That was what was available. That was what they gave to them. Ladies and gentlemen, in between that, God allowed his star to be shining in the east. The star was shining in a far place. Not only shining, it was basically shining. And it was wise men that were able to decode. Praise God. Everyone saw it as a normal star. But this white man said, this is an unusual star. I pray that God will open people's eyes to know who you will be. Because if people know you will be, they will start celebrating you now. Why not talk to someone and say, if you know who I will be, you will start to celebrate me now. I might preach to somebody now. Sometimes people don't know who you will be. The thing is that people, are tend, they tend to look at the time of story. They forgot that after a story, there will be glory. So Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, not the city of kings, not the city of great men. He was born where great men were scarce. Great men were scarce in that city, but he was born there. But the city for the first time took delivery of great men from the east because of the products that entered that place. Ladies and gentlemen, Jesus was born as these wise men came all the way from the east. The Bible says the first place they entered was Herod's palace. Why would they enter Herod's palace? Because number one, ordinarily when a king is to be born, a king should be born in a king's house. Because it goes after genealogy. They must have said, if we heard an angel said the king is born in Bethlehem, then it must be in the king's house. So, they didn't go straight to Bethlehem. They passed through Jerusalem and they entered the Herod's palace. Am I communicating here? When they entered Herod's palace, they began to ask the right question in the wrong place. Where is he? If he know, will he be there? Asking the right question in the wrong place. If 
native doctor, no way will he be sitting on the floor asking the right question in the wrong place. If they know, will it not reflect in their lives? Are you sure you're hearing me now? I might preach it to someone this morning. The worst thing for you to do is for you to give a mechanic your boom boom for injection. Say, who are you? Say, I would like to be doctor. Say, what's happening now? Say, I see Sabi treats. Praise God. I will, I will treat you. What, may they not break injection inside. So what am I trying to say? First check. Is it working? The wise men entered Herod's palace. And you are asking, where is he? You are asking the right question. But is that the right place? So Herod pretended he knew. But he didn't know. You know why? God bypassed Herod and went far because he knows that if he announced to Herod, Herod will kill the dream. Herod will kill the vision. So he tried to delay them. He tried entertaining them. He tried keeping them down. Some of you listening to me now. The wise men that God has ordained to lift you up in life, they have entered the wrong place. As your amen will thunder, I see them coming out to you. I see them coming to you. Where is he? Right question in the wrong place. Where is he that is born king of the Jews? That is true. But wrong place. So, why did I say these wise men were carrying something that belonged to Jesus. Something that will put an end to looking for a manger. Something that will put an end to poverty in the family. Something that will take his parents from zero to hero. Something that will take them to be able to rent a five-star hotel in Egypt. These wise men were carrying it. They were carrying it. Precious as it is. They were carrying it. They were carrying it. With all this, they entered Herod's palace. And Herod's palace tried to delay them. Some of you who is carrying your wedding ring that has entered Bia Palo, I call them out. Who is carrying your marital gown that entered the wrong place? I call them out. Let me hear you shout and amen like thunder. I want to specially invite you to join us in our crossover service. We call it crossing over to take over in 2017. So join me right here from 7 p.m. to 12.30. You know, vehicles are moving throughout that day. I want you to join us because no matter what it is, never you be elsewhere to enter a new year. Be in the house of the Lord. I'm specially inviting you. Let us agree together because the new year you are about to enter, you are taking over. You are taking charge. You are rising again. I bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, they entered carrying what belonged to Jesus and the family. And Herod tried to delay them. Herod could have been entertaining them. Why was he entertaining them? Not because he loved them. He wanted them to forget the vision. He wanted to forget their mission. He wanted them to forget their assignment. Listen to me. Be careful of those you sit with. If you don't want to forget your assignment. Everyone have an assignment on earth. Are you sure you're hearing me now? They were inside Herod's palace. Why? They sat there. Drinking coffee. Probably tea. The vision is gradually going. How? Where is the star that we saw? The star cannot enter the wrong place. The star can enter Herod's palace. The star can enter native doctor's house. The star can enter the wrong place. You can carry anointing of God and sleep on the wrong bed. Mm -hmm. bah. The star disappeared. The star they saw disappeared. Where is this star? The star has disappeared. And now, Herod, they now realize that they were not making headway. They now realize that this is not where we ought to be. They now realize that we are in the wrong compound. 
They now realize that why are we here? Suddenly they said among themselves, Oh boy, I think we are coming out here. Since we enter here, the star that we saw, we are no longer seeing it. I think we need to see the star. And they said to Herod, We are leaving now. And Herod said, No problem. You go and search for the child. The king that you say is born, no problem. I set you up as committee. I set you up as a panel. If a, 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 a high-powered federal government panel that will help to go and discover where the child is. Bring me word so that I can also come and worship. Hello? Herod is not a worshiper, he's a killer. He was lying. He was not coming to worship the child. He was only saying, show me your dream, make a killer. Show me where your dream is. Show me your vision. Show me your mission. I want to kill him for you. But he didn't say that. He said that I may come and worship. Matthew 2 verse 8. He says, and he sent them to Bethlehem and said, go and search diligently for the young child. When ye have found him, bring me word again that I may come and worship him also. He was not a worshiper. He was only looking for someone who will bring the word so that he can kill Ladies and gentlemen, I stand to say, anyone that will rise up against the church in Nigeria, they are going down. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, show me, let me come and worship. And these wise men departed. As they were going, the angel appeared to them and said, don't go back to that man, praise God. Take another road. If they had come back, two things will happen. If they like, let them bring news. Herod will still kill them. If they don't bring news, Herod will kill them. Because Herod cannot stand to see another person lifting up his head. They say, Herod, these spirits that make people enter a compound, they cannot lift up their head. Since you pack into that compound, you enter with a car, but you are not trekking. Can't you see something is wrong? There's Herod that is trying to collect your blessing. But that Herod will die. If I can hear a better amen, Herod is going down. I want to specially invite you to join us in our crossover service. We call it Crossing Over to Take Over in 2017. So join me right here from 7 p.m. to 12.30. You know, vehicles are moving throughout that day. I want you to join us because no matter what it is, never you be elsewhere. To enter a new year be in the house of the lord i'm specially inviting you let us agree together because the new year you are about to enter you are taking over you are taking charge you are rising again i bless you in jesus name amen ladies and gentlemen what did i notice here i noticed that he said to him bring me word i am coming to worship I am coming there. I, I want to come and worship him with you. And so these wise men, finally, as they came out, the Bible said the star that they saw in the east reappeared. The star they saw yesterday reappeared. The vision they saw yesterday reappeared. You know why? That star don't enter the wrong place. You have to first come out for you to see. You have to first break the relationship that is not... You have been in a relationship for years and it's not making headway. And you want to see another one. You have to first break the first one. Are you sure you're hearing me now? I'm not talking about, of course, husband and wife. Husband and wife, you are meant for each other forever. I'm talking about the one that's not making headway. You just met a guy or a guy met you or you met a lady and you realize since that time you have been nose diving instead of going up. All your vision is gone. Or your direction is gone. Bring me war. And I will come and worship. He was not a worshiper. When the wise men finally got there to Bethlehem, the star did not also reside in one of the best houses in the area. The star did not even go to boys' quarter either. The star passed boys' quarter. Went back, 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 back. And they finally rested where? 
in a manger where animal is born. For the first time, manger took delivery of what it has never taken delivery of. What? Gold, frankincense, and Maya. Are you all with me here today? The manger took delivery of it. Gold, prosperity. Frankincense, favor. Maya, healing. Those three things is what Christ brought. But at a tender age, those things were given to him. What were those things? They, what were those things were meant to say? This is your assignment on earth. Are you all hearing me now? This is what? This is your assignment on earth. Let us hear Luke chapter 4. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. Let's watch it now. The spirit of Luke 4 18. The spirit of God is upon me because he has anointed me to what? To preach the gospel to what? The poor. Prosperity. That's the first thing he gave. What, what was the first thing they gave? What was the first thing they gave? Gold. The first thing the wise men gave was what? Gold. What was the first, Jesus first announced now? Prosperity. That gold stands for prosperity. As Jesus' ministry started, he defined his vision. From in line with what the wise men gave him, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has what? To preach the gospel to the poor. Prosperity. He has sent me to heal the broken hearted. Maya. To preach deliverance to the caprice and recovering of what? Sight to the blind and to set at liberty them that are bruised. Are you with me here today? So his assignment was packaged in the gifts that the wise men brought to that manger and they gave it and delivered it. But can I announce that when they will come out of that place, there was no place that says that Jesus and his parents returned to manger accommodation again. Level change. Because what you have in your pocket will determine where you will sleep. Are you sure you're hearing me now? What you are carrying will determine what you what? Where you are going to sleep and what you are going to drive. As they left manger, they never returned to manger. Because why? All they needed in their next level has already been given to them. What am I trying to say? You are a blessing to your family. Did you hear what I'm saying here? Jesus as a young child became a blessing to the family. You are a blessing. So when you give your life to Jesus, you are a blessing to your family. Before you gave your life to Christ, you were a curse to your family. You were a problem to your family. But when you give your life to Christ, that's why 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 says, if any man be what? In Christ, it's a new creature. All things have passed away. The cost hour has passed away. The time of problem has passed away. When you give your life to Jesus and you're truly walking with him and you are walking with him, I'm not talking about walking with him and stopping today. Walk today, stop the other day. Walk today and don't go the other day. No, I'm talking about walking with him consistently. You will realize that there's a change. Are you sure you're hearing me now? There's what? There is a change. There is a change. You will see that there is a change within you. There will be some level of peace. The glory when it comes upon you. Money cannot buy the glory. It is a gift from God. You can wear whatever you want to wear. Everybody desire to be like you. Why? You become a role model. If any man be in Christ. It's a new creature. All things have passed away. Stand up. Praise the Lord. I want you to join us in this crossover service. I call it crossing over to take over with jesus join me because in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god so let us start the beginning together with god so how you enter in the new year and where you enter matters a lot so it's not time to be elsewhere join us here at divine appointment ministry international number 17 oye wale street join us let us cross into the new year Vehicles are moving around Lagos on that night. So maybe it's 12, we cannot close. Then you go home and celebrate with your family. Please don't stay at home. Join us here in Divine Appointment Ministry International because it's your year of appointment for high favor. Amen. Anointing breaks the yoke. Anointing breaks the yoke. 
anointing breaks the yoke come and be anointed to stop that evil carry over into the new year 2017 as you join Reverend Ben Eragbai, the Jesus Soldier at Prayer City Aja, date Friday 30th December 2016, time 7 a.m. Brunt, venue Second Floor Gate Street, behind Nipco Filling Station, beside Lagos Business School Aja, come and stop that evil reoccurrence in your life, family, business, marriage or ministry. Join us, it's your season of divine restoration. Jesus is Lord. is the hope of my glory you want jesus as your lord and personal savior run to this place one Strength for each new day, he will make. 